You can have a beautiful lawn and be kind to the environment in five easy steps. Hi, I'm Melinda Myers, horticulturist and gardening expert. Mow high and often, taller grass forms deeper roots, making them more drought tolerant, pest resistant, and better able to outcompete the weeds. Make sure your mower blades are sharp. This results in a healthier, better looking lawn. Consider buying a spare set so you always have sharp blades on hand. Further reduce the stress on the lawn by removing no more than one third the total height of the grass at one time. And leave clippings on the lawn. Short clippings do not cause thatch, but rather break down quickly, adding moisture, organic matter, and nutrients to the soil. And you'll even save time and money, since a season's worth of clippings equals one fertilizer application. A properly fertilized lawn means less weeds, fewer pests, and better looks in the landscape. Northern and Midwest gardeners growing bluegrass, fescue, and ryegrass should fertilize their lawns on Memorial Day, Labor Day, and sometime between Halloween and Thanksgiving, but before the ground freezes. You can add a light summer feeding if you're watering and going for a high quality lawn. Eliminate Memorial Day and Labor Day if you're following a low maintenance plan. Those growing a low maintenance lawn filled with warm season grasses like Bermuda, St. Augustine, and Centipede should fertilize around Easter. And those growing high maintenance Southern lawn should fertilize around Easter, Memorial Day, and Labor Day. And the easiest way to increase success and decrease the risk of damage is to use Melorganite fertilizer. It's an organic, low nitrogen, slow release fertilizer that won't burn the lawn and the 4% iron encourages deep greening. Plus the phosphorus is non-leaching and the recent research has found that when the microbes break down the Melorganite granules into plant available form, it also releases some of the phosphorus and potassium bound to the soil. This is great since most soils have high to excessive levels of these nutrients. You're getting added value by using the Melorganite. Proper watering encourages a deeper and better established root system and a thicker stand of grass that's better able to outcompete weeds. Water during the early morning hours to minimize water loss from evaporation and disease caused by wet leaves at night. Droughts and efforts to conserve water may mean a change of habit for some. If you allow your lawn to go dormant during hot, dry weather, leave it dormant until the weather cools and rain returns. Then minimize foot traffic and play and don't apply weed killers or quick release fertilizer to your dormant lawn. These types of fertilizers will feed the weeds and both can damage the dormant grass. You can, however, use Melorganite as your lawn fertilizer it won't burn even during a drought since Melorganite's nutrients stay in the soil until conditions are right for root uptake. A healthy lawn is your best defense against weeds. When weeds occur, it usually means the growing conditions are better for the weeds than for your grass. Start your weed control program by adjusting your lawn care practices so the growing conditions are better for the grass than the weeds. Core aerate your lawn if the soil is compacted or there is a half an inch of thatch or more. This increases the moisture, oxygen, and nutrients reaching the grass roots while providing space for the thatch to decompose. Consider hand digging small populations of weeds. There are some new tools on the market that make this job easier, plus you'll burn a few calories. And if you feel the need to spray, spot treat with the most eco-friendly products. Corn gluten meal is an organic pre-emergent that prevents seeds, good and bad, from germinating. Research has found that three years of spring and fall applications can reduce weeds by as much as 85%, and the new iron-based broadleaf weed killers will quickly turn the weeds black and any grass it touches a deep green. It's easier than you think to do the right thing for the environment. Always sweep grass clippings and fertilizer residue off walks and drives. This simple step keeps unwanted nutrients out of waterways and eventually are drinking water. Never fertilize lawns when the ground is frozen. It'll wash off the soil and into our water supply. Not only is it bad for the environment, but it's a waste of your time and money. Use Melorganite fertilizer. It's been sustainable for over 85 years, recycling waste into fertilizer and using methane from nearby landfills as its primary fuel source. And lastly, consider using a push or electric mower. It's good for the waistline and the environment. Now go out and enjoy that beautiful landscape.